Okay, moving on here, let's do the uh, two-class Bayes point machine. So also based on the naive Bayes algorithm, um, which we covered previously in the regression models. Let's go ahead and delete that one, drop in our Bayes point machine. All right, let's take a look at the details on this one. So Bayes point machine is a Bayesian approach to linear classification. So this is going to mean, again, that it's going to assume linear relationships. It efficiently approximates the, approximates the theoretical optimal Bayesian average of linear classifiers, okay, in terms of generalization performance by choosing one average classifier, the base point. Because the base point machine is a Bayesian classification model, it is not prone to overfitting of the training data. That's a good point that I didn't make in the last one. Um, although naive Bayes is often one of our less accurate and faster algorithms, uh, that means it's also less prone to overfitting. Well, not directly, but uh, a, a related outcome of it is that it's not prone to overfitting the data. So let's go ahead and give it a shot here. We've got that. Let's run it. Pause. All right, that's done. Let's see what it gives us here in our train model. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Thank you. Okay, cool. Here we get the coefficient as well as a standard deviation for the coefficient. Um, commute distance. Looks like this is an important one here with uh, naive Bayes. Interesting that education shows up so much here, partial high school. We saw this back, remember, uh, this is my one of my students are watching this. Remember when we did this in Excel with linear regression? Remember how education was not so significant until we created dummy codes and uh, examined them individually? And remember, partial high school was the single largest indicator. Well, we treat it as a baseline, um, but it um, was one of the biggest indicators that uh, someone wouldn't buy a bike. It's interesting to see that show up here with our Bayes model. Cars is clear down here. All right, well, let's uh, take a look at our evaluation. All right, accuracy and precision. Let's grab these guys. This is our Bayes point machine. All right, come on. I got to remember to do this. Match source at a zero. Okay, how's it fit in? Looks like it's definitely better than our logistic regression, and accuracy is better than even the average perceptron, but uh, precision not quite as good in between those two, which is why we look at a few of these indicators. Anyway, um, awesome. Let's move on and try another one.